Welcome back to Heilman Performance. We're at the farm and uh, our 8760 has been having some issues with uh, the air conditioning not working correctly. It's always uh, hot. And uh, the Freon or coolant refrigerant checked okay. Uh, what we found is the cable that runs to the box up front is actually uh we've got a broken cable so it's going to need replaced so this little video is going to be showing you how to uh replace the cable so one of the things uh you can do is uh remove this knob and this just kind of pops back and i already uh took some of the bolts loose ahead of time so remove the cover that goes around the column so that car that cover can be removed so now we have access to see around the cable and one of the first things I see is when I move the cable, you can see the cables moving up and down. This little piece has been broken. But it still froze up, it won't move internally. So the cable goes down through the floor And then it goes up to the front, well, just in front of the cab on the tractor. So, so that's why we were never, it was always hot, even when you turn the air conditioner on, because it was never moving the, the internal components inside of the dampener box. So, next thing I'll open up the front of the tractor. To get access. To the heater box area you have to open all the hoods so you just go around release these same thing release that you raise the hood and you make sure you lock that little piece in, not very difficult. Most of you have these tractors already know how to do all this stuff, so but I'll show it through, go through it real quick. Uh, next thing, you got two options. You can remove these two little guys first, or I can come around and release this one. Push it in. And raise the hood. Uh, the cable comes up underneath this box here. So I'll go ahead and uh, pull the air covers off. You release these two. Then down below, it pins in back in here and in the back. So you're just going to lift up, pull forward, and whole thing comes out for the next large piece I have to take this one out and I've already got these out got one here and you got an angle bracket back there or I got those removed so I'll take that panel off once you have this bolt out you can just grab the panel slide it towards you it's actually pinned on the inside with these it's got like two hangers see this one you can see that one and they go into those two holes and this angles forward so it makes it pretty easy to remove too John Deere did a good job on that and then you'll be able to see shortly where the cable goes in the box 
now that the side covers are off you got a little more access it's still not easy to see you can see the cable coming through the firewall and it comes through you can see it there and then it goes up into here and it's already been unhooked uh, so we could close the dampener but uh, that's what I'm gonna be replacing so the next step we're gonna be probably showing the removing the, the cable uh, 5 16 socket actually uh, works on the, the little bolts on both ends uh, this end here and uh, up underneath as well so uh, what I've done is I end up sticking my hand because it's so tight right here I can't get my fingers in that uh, I remove the cover for the fuse panel and I can stick my arm up inside and uh, use the nut driver to come across and get this one because uh, it's not uh, very easy to get to. Neither was the other one. The other one you could probably use a small uh, impact to get out with the 5 16 but there's not much room under this dash. fingers over there get it the rest of the way out drop it down it's ready to go I went ahead and pulled the cover plate off which is pretty easy you just lift it just lifts right off and then you get access to uh, these three screws so I took those out and uh, that's so I can get the this cable out uh, I might end up unhooking this as well it's just easy you just flip it down and pull it away so but uh let's try to get more access to this side so i can get down in there to where the cable is located at right down there and it has just like a little uh l or shape to it i'll show you when it comes out And I pulled it, I just twisted it over and slid it out. You can sh see that shape I was talking about. Um, I don't know what if you call that S or, uh, but, uh, and this piece is broke off. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll probably actually pull down and out. Uh, it's clipped on. This has to come off yet. And there's some kind of little adjuster unit right here. And uh, I won't mess with that this time. And then I'll pull it on the rest of the way down through there. Uh, being this tab's already broke I took a large screwdriver and I just pushed that grommet out uh, I thought I was videotaping it when I did it but I accidentally shut it off but uh it's pretty simple just like I said take a screwdriver push the grommet out then you can feed the cable down through so gives you an idea how to get that out as I said before there's a uh, two different lengths of this one uh, there's a short one and a long for this cable for this uh, 8760 and this one is a good match I threaded it so they were the same I moved the grommet from the old one to the new one and the lengths come out really close to the same as you can see this is broke here and this is still still okay so it was actually broke on both ends not just uh, here but at the other end and again, there's that part number, RE24614. So I'll be feeding it back in. I got the screw in for the back side. Was not easy. This is not a job for a big, strong guy. It's for a good job for a skinny, uh, patient guy. Because there's not much room to get your hands in to work on any of this stuff. 
Uh, it'd been nice if I would have had a one of these little thumb drivers for a quarter inch. I don't have one. I end up kind of using this guy. It doesn't work as good because it's still slippery to get it started and tightened up. And I tightened it up with a ratchet. And uh, once I got that done, I went ahead and hooked this one back up. That's 13 millimeter. Kind of, this tractor's kind of like a 80s and 90s uh, GM and Ford cars where part of the bolts are in inch size and part of them in metric size. I still have to uh, push the grommet down and get it seated but I noticed that uh, something else is missing there is a piece that should be on there and is not so I'll have to look around and see if I can find where that went to I don't know how long it's been missing so one more little piece of the puzzle I just kept working that grommet with the screwdriver going around the outside until I had it worked in there. It takes a little bit of time and patience, but you can get it. So now it's time to go to the outside. I got the cable routed up through that square hole into the round one like before. And then I had to hook the wire in first to the end for the dampener. And you have to kind of pull it down and push it straight up, but try not to kink it, because that wire will bend real easy. And uh, then you can put the nut in, or sorry, the bolt. And I used a 5 16 for that, as well as the other end. So that wasn't horrible but you have to be a contortionist and be skinny to reach into some of the small places I'll test the inside real quick to make sure everything works fine I'm gonna do a quick test to make sure everything moves slides up slides down that's good and uh I looked down in behind here and I found this and uh, that will fit there. So now all I have to do is to see if I can find that and I'll be able to finish that part up as well. So I hope this has been uh, helpful on how to uh, install your uh, heater cool uh, dampener cable and uh, your John Deere tractor and uh, if you're having issues with uh, maybe your air conditioning not being cool it might be because uh, your dampener cable is broke and it's still uh, letting hot air in and that's the problem we were having so uh, if you like this uh, information if it's helpful please like and uh, if you think you'd like to see some more content like this please subscribe thanks for watching have a good day